going to take over. We're going to have I'm Pan going Man to have to take on. over. I mean, Pan Man will do it. We got Aqua Talk. Pan Man will fill in as me. I'll fill in as you, and we'll just roll with it. Make it work. All right. Well, you know what? This is an important game. It would be a travesty not to cover the picking phase and what the teams are going through right now. So yeah. let's get on to it. All right, let's do it. A lot of shout-outs going on, so it's hard to keep track of everything. But, uh, okay, so yeah, the Keeper of the Forest, Parasite, Tundra, Lodestone. Again, nothing changing there. Tempest, Ophelia, Rally, Pebbles, Deadwood, and Pharaoh. So, very similar <laughs> game yeah, going similar. on. Similar. Going to see Rally in this pool instead of yeah. the Fade. Um, Going to see a Pharaoh thrown in there as well as the Deadwood. But, mm -hmm. otherwise, looking to grab uh, pretty similar picks out of the pool there. Deadwood, obviously very capable in the hands of Uh mm -hmm. Might also get his choice of jungler here. Maybe we'll see him opt to pick up that Tempest instead. I've always felt like his Tempest is just a little bit stronger than his Ophelia. Actually, it was uh, Minots. Minots. Yeah. yeah Known yeah. as one of the more powerful. I mean, I think he's the best Tempest out there, personally. In your book, he is. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think he's very capable for sure. And yeah. well, popularized a bunch of different item builds, a more protective item build on him as well, I believe. Uh, Sandray, look at that. Actually, he's continually being addressed by Sunomal. It's pretty frustrated after that previous loss where mm -hmm. it looked like they had that Moon Queen game in the bag. Uh, right now, Moon Queen not being banned out yet. And, well, this is his chance. Going to leave it open. Mm -hmm. But look meanwhile, right let's see what else is in the <laughs> pool. I mean, I love it. As Lodestone being addressed, I'm taking a look elsewhere. It's always hard to do a quick scan over that. Moon Queen's picked up. I just love how sudden, like, literally, as soon as the last man happened, right-click Moon Queen. It just happened and it yep. picks it up immediately, so. No sand right here to sort of our carrier in that capacity. Yeah. On the SEAC, you know, you know, I always used to see the Moon Queen versus Predator battle. War Beast is uh, snap picked again in response. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw the impact it had that game, and, well, they're not afraid to keep using it. Yeah. I mean, there was a point in that game where Draconis was level 9 and War Beast was 5. I mean, they, they literally had getting, yeah. everything going for them. They man. did. Again, that's what made it the ultimate comeback. I mean, even oh, during the game, I was kind of contemplating maybe one of the better. Uh, no, honestly, I, after the game, I mean, that was the best comeback we've I seen. I mean, I'm not going through every single moment at the time, but right now, the best comeback I have ever yeah. seen in one of the most dire of moments. So. Yeah, exactly. I think that has a lot to do with it. Just what is on the line against the team that they're playing. I mean, just so many things added up to, you know, what we have. But again, Hopefully. you know, moving on here. Just a shadow of what is to come, though. <laughs> Pyromancer has been very popular. Not going to be picked up here, though. Um, See Glacius Bubbles. Better laner, for sure. Uh, at least in the middle lane. They already picked their support of choice there in Aluna, which, well, tells you that they're looking for one of those bursty heroes mm -hmm. uh, in the lock bowl. I mean, that's no surprise. They'd be fooled not to pick it up. But whether it's Rally, whether it's Bubbles or Deadwood, Aluna goes well with them all. Stay uh, green. Need a little bit of a carry presence perhaps here for <laughs> slick so probably slick's is hero of choice going to be torture picked oh, no, up banned. here torture is no banned out master arms is banned out hag so maybe? no they never usually run the hag like that and he can run whatever i mean slick's Wolf, is obviously <laughs> of course you want valkyrie he used to play valkyrie a lot it's valkyrie actually a hero i think he's game. wanted to play lately too but i don't yeah. think the team's quite sold on it yet <laughs> Not i so have much. heard i remember at gsl that I thought the hero could be used with that steam boots energizer out but mm -hmm. I'm yeah, probably not going to see value. It would be fun. I would be pretty psyched, but... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that go out, yeah. was probably the most uh, common, yeah. like, semi-carry session. In that Master of Arms slash Torture slash uh -huh. Wretched Hag, uh, whatever uh, set up, Wretched, yeah, definitely she was the one that was left over, so... Ophelia Rally being picked up, getting that defensive combination. They knowingly, uh, you know... Mm -hmm. Toss that th uh, their way, knowing that Ophelia and Rally, in combination with one another, just oh, yeah. provides so much kill denial to the enemy team. Uh, going for the big plays with the Tempest instead, and well, taking out of the hands of Chessy, who last game just proved to be an absolute monster with it. Mm -hmm. Still, Ophelia, even above Tempest, I would say Ophelia is his trademark. By the way, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. We haven't said that yet. Uh, here on the cast, so oh uh, wow, <laughs> been casting so far this time I forgot. So it's, it's still fairly make sure in the afternoon for after us. this, uh, call my dad right away, or if we have a break. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if my father's watching, but yeah, happy Father's Day to everyone good. tuning in. I'm sure Swindle's parents are tuning in too. Yeah. so that's happy that's birthday true. to Papa Freak and well, all the fathers of everyone else tuning in. I wouldn't happy name birthday. them as well, but I honestly don't know who's watching. <laughs> happy birthday, Papa! Not birthday. I'm okay. <laughs> it's, it, Father's Day equals happy birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. The the wild hole. The, yeah. uh, what was that? Riff Walker Pred? Riff Pred Walker? Walker. 
Yeah, everyone's birthday. <laughs> Happy say, Father's happens, Day. Oh, my God. Casting. <laughs> Long days. Okay, then what was the final pick, by the way? Deadwood? Um, Deadwood, yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Choice, I think, between Deadwood and Pebbles. I went for that Deadwood. Mm -hmm. Here Provide we are. Provide some lock down here to the War Beast. Uh, will be effective at least until that moment where he uh, eventually gets a demonic breastplate later on and stacks that armor. Uh, besides that, Rally, get an extra mobilize against him. Mm -hmm. With the Glacius, they have two there. Yeah. All of their stuns pretty much, uh, yeah, more in the sense of immobilizes here. Yeah, good against the Rally. For sure. Z Freak sporting the uh, Stardust Aluna one skin, the ultimate avatar, of course. Come out here, so. And actually going towards the bottom here, we don't see. Uh, we had SGEU somewhat in the vicinity, but in the end. Uh, we've seen what they're him. capable of with War V Sophilia, man. They pushed out Tempest Keeper lineups mm -hmm. and made them pay on top of the rally. Yeah. Uh, definitely yeah. a very <laughs> comfortable place for Stay Green to be in right now. I was going to say, yeah, I think Stay Green's very pleased with their lineup, to say the least. So, um, as And in as terms of counter push, it's not that absurd here on the Legion team. Mm -hmm. It really what isn't. We got uh, Bubbles. We got Deadwood to throw in there. Yeah, some good uh, potential there. Glacius obviously can assist. Yeah. It's okay, but just... It's not uh, overwhelming. It's not no, artillery no, no, no. and master of arms and whatnot, so... <laughs> Hornets blowing into game number two. We officially go here as the creeps spawn. And once again, very standard laning. Expected suicide heroes of War Beast and Bubbles mm -hmm. going to their suicide lanes. The dual mid versus dual mid matchup. Going to go back down to the jungler game and between Minus and Chessie, who is able to make the biggest impact there? I would say this mid lane matchup, man, a um, bit more fair than the previous game at least. Yeah. I think Pebbles, I mentioned before, has the edge over the fade. Rally, a very impressive laner himself, but... Well, I mean, for now, Deb will have to deal with it on his own at least. And Glacius actually sort of stayed behind there. Now. Yeah. Keep an eye on that war beast and deny some of the pulling, maybe. But hmm. he's actually uh, helping Tempest jungle even a little bit. Interesting. Oh, speaking of war beast, sending in the mini right there. He's gonna cut that up. Yep, that's what he's doing. Great placement by Fitzgay. Obviously, called it the whole way, and yeah, eventually gets it killed. So stops the attempt there from Casey. So they weren't able to pick up the rally. The next best thing in absorbing experience in a one v two is this Deadwood. <coughs> Well, they're going to have a hard time killing him at least early on. That rally stun is nice, but doesn't do the most of damage. Only 70 with a 1.25 second stun, and Luna not even having a stun at level 1. So Deadwood able to pick up experience here. Mm -hmm. Overall favoring uh, SGU early on. Taking a look at the uh, suicide lane and how the Bubbles is performing up here against Wretched Hag. Uh, bubbles versus Wretched Hag, especially if Bubbles is given pulled regen, is Bubbles quite capable in it. That's all yeah. I'm saying. It honestly seems like it's been a while since we've seen this matchup. It's, it seems like a very... Classic matchup on the Hag versus Bubbles, but it has been a little bit. Um, but yeah, Slick playing the short lane Hag against your suicide Bubbles, of course, played by Novi Perrot. Yeah, Gaze Bubbles eye. actually controlling the farm early on. Six applying a lot of pressure here, though. Uh, Bubbles does have his level 2 nuke. Uh, actually, with that flash and Sonar Scream combo, not going to actually have the mana for it. It costs 140 for the Sonar Scream, only was sitting at 160 total. Yeah. So, both going to heal back up and continue to apply pressure. And well, trading auto attacks is going to be hard for this Bubbles against the Wretched Hag. Uh, normally, once again, I think Bubbles can perform quite well. I think that this battle cry in the end, coming out from War Beast, will be the uh, deciding factor in just how well Wretched Hag is able to control the lane. Yeah. Actually going really hard here, and Aluna coming up with that haste rune oh, here, Breaky. Power throw coming in now. We're going to see that Bloodlust kill. Zai trying to make Doesn't the get away. The auto cover. attack, a smackdown kill coming out. Z-Freak gets credit for the kill right there. You mentioned no take cover for Bubbles. He's level 3, choosing not to get it. And, well... He ends up dying, so two and a half minutes in, Bloodlust kill, coming out for State Green. Yeah, and Walt, he's going to be getting that battle cry, as said, it's already tough for him to trade auto attacks. Mm -hmm. And with that death, uh, going to fall pretty far behind here in the top lane. So momentum uh, definitely going to go in favor of Slicks. Uh, that's the thing, having this solo Deadwood mid, Rally is just fine on his own. Yeah. You know that, and that, that buys a lot of room actually for, for Z Freak to apply pressure elsewhere. Can't exactly make things happen with his War Beast, but still. So, right there, it's evidenced by him grabbing that haste rune and gank ganking the top lane. <laughs> I see Deadwood uh, fine in the end, but 
Taking the harassment indeed. Yeah, the Warbeast though, again, you, you just can't forget about that whenever you're going up against him, how much of an impact you will have for the team just spamming that battle cry in the laning phase. So no doubt any different here. Zai, or not Zai, but uh, Z-Freak doing a great job of really just boxing out this Deadwood now that he is back. And then the Olymp is getting the levels as we were talking about, so. But <laughs> look at that. Does he have any? He has two creep kills. So I would say they were accomplishing quite a bit there in the end. As far as locking him down in the middle lane. Top lane, no. Here we go. Ophelia coming in with a the Minotaur. There's the battle cry coming out. Zai trying to make the getaway. He already shells it. That's why he's over here in the first place. So they're going in, going for that kill. Come around of attention too, man. They're getting blocked by the creep yes, wave, two actually. seconds remaining. One second. Not gonna be able to oh! oh! It's away. Bubbles going to survive. The creep wave caused all those issues right there, man. It did. It oh, did. Geez. But still, you know what? The gank was still successful. Didn't get the hero kill. Still thrusting him back. True. Warbeast continuing to level. Love that level 3 battle cry soon here. Yeah. On top of that, Slick's already level 5, getting closer to that level 6. There is no way he's going to have any lane stay ability now. Bubbles is going to suffer. He's going to have to look elsewhere. Maybe make himself useful in a gank. Yeah. Or just continue to pick up experience, <laughs> I guess. But yeah. either way, it's a bad time. Just do what he can, but stay green. Definitely looking good, at least in that situation up there. Slick's playing the Wretched Hag. He's uh, obviously, obviously up to a great start, but most importantly, Swindle Melons is leading the way in Rally. 350 gold per minute for him. He's basically had free farm here in the top, in the middle lane, excuse me. Um, as, as a result of the matchup. 33 matchups, and 27, so. yeah, no. It's, uh, <laughs> Dead Woods 3 and 1. <laughs> Not compared. Literally speaking. Yep. Glacius is, uh, so, I mean, that, that that kind of speaks to something, too, how they've invested in not really worrying about it in the end. I mean, Glacius has just been spending all the time at the bottom lane, boxing out Warbeast, and also stacking the camps every now and then, I'm sure. So, Well, in spite of that total oh, domination yes. top, I mentioned how he might have to make himself yep. useful elsewhere. Slicks now hitting level 7. Zai should have probably found his home, uh, maybe trying to gank the bottom lane here with the Glacius. Uh, with the Moon Queen. Oh, the final auto attack! Rally turned around. He thought that would be enough. Oh no! Would he be able to admit? It? Would he be able to catch so. it? I nope believe so. I believe so. No boots on it, Deadwood. It, the only reason he turned around was because of the tower doing damage. Jamie wants the bottom lane. Warby is trying to get away right here. He is going to be hero block. Can he somehow make the escape? Can he try to juke and jive? But Moon Queen and Glacius won't have any of it. So they do come through with a kill. The bottom lane. That could be a decent swing right there. I mean, what well, could oh, have been sure. a kill be, uh, and not be in the end. So. Well, especially you see the Tempest uh, rounding up here as well, trying to make something happen, coming from the side. In spite of top lane being an absolute disaster right now in a matchup they were hoping would uh, go a lot more evenly. Level 7 versus level 4. They're actually still ahead in experience. Well, just barely, though, 140. Mm -hmm. Not really noteworthy, yeah, but not still are ahead. Not the biggest deal in the world. But yeah, the middle lane, hey, again, I'm fairly certain he would have gotten the kill. It, but it, I could tell where he was coming from, that he, he just wanted to do the math, and he wanted to turn around and stay alive as well. Because if he did go for the kill, I mean, there's a chance, I guess, that it too, it could have been a, his own Yeah, it would death, not be worth it to go for that. Yeah. Uh, kill at that point, so thrust him back to base. Mm -hmm. Haste room bottled up by Rally in the meantime, so. And now the experience swing. Yeah, yep. truly showing. I feel like, yeah, Bubbles is, he can't go up there, man. I mean, we'll see what happens here. He just has to save his spells. It, it, Solely for the purpose of getting away. Yeah, you see Zai just hanging around. Rotten Grasp attempt. If Raleigh got hit there, there was a Tempest also running in. The Falcon Punch ready to go for Deadwood. That definitely was a kill that they were looking to secure there in the middle lane, but Swinomel's able to dodge it in the end. Right. And well, he has a Haste Rune as well here, so extra simpler at that. Mm -hmm. Hacks Rune obviously maximizing farm at the bottom lane in the meantime. 37 and 16. Rally definitely has the higher number though. 46 and 34, so. Action hasn't been able to be as successful. Obviously, Warbeast, the annoyance he's brought with the polling constantly. I'm sure has been a big issue with that. Did be interested to watch these fights and well, Ophelia's minions and Warbeast Wolves. Yeah. Top of the heel. Gonna greatly uh, diminish the effectiveness of a hero like Moon Queen and her ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, the moon finale, not nearly as uh, right. effective for sure. Especially in those clumped up team fights, so. And Wretched Hag, uh, compared to Bubbles, is, uh, is able to, she's truly able to take control of the game. I'll give you that really far. Here, the bottom fight, however. Yeah, Luna's trying to get away. She was trying to protect this refreshment room for the longest time. It wasn't worth it, though, in the end. She gets collapsed on and ends up dying. I, I think she even tried to destroy it, too, but 
wasn't even able to do that. Rowley, in the meantime, goes for the top lane. He has that Hasten runs into the invisible Bubbles. So Bubbles knows that it's well into the top lane, but it's pretty much, I don't know if it's going to fully be a tower kill. Yeah, Rally, Bubbles yeah, is flanking trying to here, find but. someone to kill, but well, now that they have all this information, they might try to make something happen. He's not level 6 on Bubbles. Actually, not even level 5 yet. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. He's had a tough time. As I, so. Using that invisibility to pick up some experience here. <laughs> Are they going to keep this push going? I mean, again, the battle cry, keep in mind, level three right now. Enhancing a lot of damage here for the Hellborn side. And they are. They're just going to keep this push up. So, Rally is going to port back. I think he might be spotted there. That would have been pretty close if he was seen or not. They won't um, be, uh, Ophelia, the clip is activated. This is going to be interesting. Close. Oh, it is denied by Z Freak. Big. That was there. incredible timing, man. Oh, and look at Bubbles again. Zion needing to be careful. He's going to die the Pabas. No, just out of range. Slicksman only with the bat blast right there, but not able to connect again. In the end, is it really a big, big deal? Not really. Risks are okay if you're yeah. not getting punished yeah. uh, for failing to execute. So a case of using the bat blast there, not that bad, because it's like, oh, this play might happen if it doesn't. I tried for it, but I'm not going to really lose out from it. Yeah, exactly. So they got the secondary tower kill. How about that? Nine and a half minutes in. Stay green at 4,300 gold lead already uh, in their favor. So. Ophelia going for the uh, Whispering Helm. I'm not Ophelia, I'm sorry. Moon Queen going for that Whispering Helm. Looking to pick up farm. You have to make sure she doesn't get overrun uh, by this extreme pushing power between the War Beast and Ophelia. Mm -hmm. And have her jungle taken over before she gets that shrunken head. I bet Bubbles is pretty happy that the Lingo pushed into the end. He's, he's finally able to sit back somewhat comfortably and get some creep kills here as well as uh, some much needed levels now for Zai uh, to take advantage of. So. Gonna start enhancing himself and uh, get the level six as well for that Kel field. Set up some ganks. Speaking of ganks, Wretched Hag might be in some trouble. Moonbeam coming out. No, no follow-up from Glacius. Maybe, uh, maybe that was intended or not. Maybe they just he just want to soften him up a little bit. Probably just harass him back a little bit at least. And Wretched Hag gonna find a uh, way to make herself useful. Also rotating to the middle lane here, and it looks like Stay Green. It's again grouping up. Mm -hmm. Signature fashion with the there time push for this. Yep. Actually, screw the time push. The time Concord attempt. <laughs> th th this is the this is the state green. And honestly, we've cast them quite a bit here at this event. This feels like for the first time. Yeah, good old we're uh, the good old state green. Yeah, and they know right now that they can't fight him. Bubbles just picking up his ultimate, not even in the area. Uh, no boots yet, so they say, hey, come fight us if you want. We'll crush you. Yeah. Or will they? Or, I mean, state hacks. green actually trying to put up some resistance here. Yeah. Low mana on Deadwood, though, man. Doesn't even have enough for a combo. Ring of Sorcery, you're going to change that, though. Mm, and they are backing out. Yeah, Stagrin is going to fall back. Congor obviously lost a lot of life right there, but is going to stay alive in the end. That's the safe plays, though. Not really uh, trying to go all in here. This is in the end. Other than Bubbles kind of sitting mid a little bit, I mean, the Legion team was distracted the whole time as well, so not a whole lot going on in terms of uh, farming and whatnot. Pretty much a neutral investment for both teams, because once again it does draw them out, but didn't really lose much health in killing that. You know what I found interesting too? Uh, What's that? The, uh, going back to Ghost of Gamers Fantasy again, he's uh, just been doing a great job there at the event, and uh, he's also been gathering some interviews, some video interviews with some of, some of the players. Uh, there's one he posted with Tralfmador actually, and I believe it was earlier on today is when it would happen, because he was talking about Myth S2Y I did watch that interview. I watched the um, entire thing, actually. Yeah, yeah, and he he was mentioning about, the, he brought up the question about State Green, what he thinks about how uh, how they're doing at this event, and, you know, he made the point that he feels like State Green just isn't the same team that, that, that he's been used to, and he's not even sure why. So it's not the same State Green that we would have seen a month ago. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is. Th this is, yeah. <laughs> so here in game two, again, they're up one game to nothing now. The comeback, that was unbelievable, but this exactly is more of that State Green, and you know, maybe that's all it took, just to, one of the most epic comebacks we've ever seen to <laughs> get that get that going, I guess. But they are doing a great job right here of definitely boxing so out SGU. The group stages, but performing where it's actually on the line now. It, yeah. Exactly. That is what matters, the bracket Especially stage would they choke and They're already SGU. grouping up again. They're really making a point like, we cannot yep. let you take this. If you get this, we know that might as well be game as you force push our towers. Mm -hmm. You have the ways to deal with our Moon Queen right now. She isn't in full stride. We've got to stop this, and this is where we can actually take control of the game. So, yeah. a great warning coming out from Fisky. Making this still a fight for Stay Green. Yeah, this is uh, 
Keeping uh, keeping them occupied, but it was Sacred once again gonna start going back in. Now Retinac is not here currently. She's actually farming up some yellow camp here, so But she's off the radar. So to stay green to you, she might as well be there. Yeah. True. Not to be seen unless they somehow have information from these neutrals here. Which I don't think they do. Oh, uh, well. How about the Black Legion being worked on? But Beastar f finished or picked up even by Rally here. So he's been using that farm. The gold per minute as a whole, though, has kind of just been pretty stale. Again, a lot of just <laughs> staring at one another. Two on kills here. on each side, both of them. He's really carefully for, for good reason. Yeah. Looks like Ophelia wanting to apply pressure once again to uh, Kong. And with those minions and Warbies, he doesn't actually need the team. Still, Fitzy's ward there, spotting him out. They're going to have to counter ward it. Mm hmm. Ancient's being done. Gonna wait for the next respawn even, so <laughs> very slow pace we have here. But you, you know you just feel it's gonna be that moment of a jump uh, jump is gonna happen and a lot will be answered. Yeah, who's gonna make it happen first though? Yeah. Moon Queen going for the energizer pickup right now instead, knowing that the fights are gonna happen now, not gonna have time to pick up a shrunken head. Uh, before anything relevant about to bust out. Yeah. They're keeping quick stabs here at Concord, but Sager in EU, keeping tabs. Yeah, the sacrificial stone finished on slicks. and I like it, especially going down. up against the Deadwood here, providing his team even more armor. And uh, it's a Predator game. Actually didn't have a Ring of the Teacher or a Sack, so went straight for that Light Brand. Here he's not making that mistake. Yeah. Going for the build-ups and set. This is what I like to see. The There's the bottom the tower kill, middle tower in the meantime. Rally was spotted, actually. Tempest coming in right here, but Rally, <laughs> he compels himself out of Congor. He's gonna Kongor actually, actually some damage. Being the fight, he does have a regeneration rune if he is tower kill and maybe without wow. much uh, contest. Yeah, they, there wasn't even a kill field onto a Luna, but they didn't want to dive that. Well, it's nice because it makes it a little bit harder for uh, Stay Green to actually take Congor now as well. Yeah, they don't. I forgot to mention that too. I mean, with their team, man, the the, the Hellborn side, huge advantage to them. Yeah. So Rally will push back this lane now. Abyssal Skull finished on Warbeast, of course. Another 1,600 gold now on Wretched Hag. So saving up a bit. My Nuts on Tempest going the Striders here. Striders into the Ring of Sorcery. Wants to be able to move around quicker. And how about Limp on Deadwood? He's, again, he had a struggle, man. He had a struggle early on. He had to suffer in trying to grab that portal key, but I talked about Armor Man, and the more I look at the Legion team versus the Hellborn team, You've got Abyssal Skull now. Mm -hmm. Screw the Ring of the Teachers that you got. You have it on Hag as well. So you have a lot of Ring of Teachers. So even if they're spread out, you're going to see everyone being covered. You have Abyssal Skull mm -hmm. for when they are closer together. You've got the Sack Stone. Just well covered, man. Yeah. The minions here for uh, Ophelia. Actually, hold that thought. Rally coming in right here. Will hit Bubbles. A side of time. Not going to go off, though. Take cover. A voice that bad blast. Bubbles still alive in the background, using the shells of support, and down goes Rajanag, the moon finale, doing some good damage right here. Stay green, committing pretty damn far. Will it pay off in the end? Tempest will fall before he can get the other one off. Moon get it the off. Out. The seismic slam, it does connect. The energizer, though, helping to get away, and Moon Queen will be fine in the end, but Stay Green does win that fight. Slicks obviously bought back there, and he's going to help finish off that tower. So it did require a buyback, but they did come through in the end. It's probably yeah, open a now. Even required just good positioning, man, and catching that Tempest out uh, before he can really do anything. Tempest not buying back, though. Yeah. If they concede this Congor, in my book, I think they might as well be conceding the game, but that would can't buy back. When Queen Alti's down, they probably just feel like it's not a fight they can take. Yeah. It's that important of a Congor attempt. I mean, they really know how to utilize that token in the first place, and with their team. Goes down. Big, big, big token of life. Gonna go to Wretched Hag. Let's take a look at that fight, actually, again. Well, they get that token of life and well, kind of regroup things it's here. Big plays early on. So. Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, you see the initiation here again on a bubbles. He uses the take cover at the last second to avoid the gets bad the silence. And everything and gets the ultimate off. Gets the shell surf out. Perfect. Moon Queen ultimate pretty much being totally absorbed or yeah, by taken to the face by Wretched Axe, so killing him. But yeah. what goes wrong next? Uh, she is chasing, and then Tempest. look at that. Ophelia comes in. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was Tempest composition Tempest, yeah. getting stunned out there and completely blown up and from that point on they're low and they, they have the chase going on another compel they're just going down one by one man playing dominoes yeah moon queen does survive in the end of course but 
You know, Wretched Egg obviously buying back. Didn't get there to the end of the fight, really, but still the threat. Ultimate Elf secure Congor, and she's able to get the token of life on top of that. So, oh boy, oh boy. Stay green up one game to nothing after an unbelievable comeback in game number one. And they're looking to secure the series right here and move on to the winner's bracket finals. This is a double elimination event. Quick reminder on that once again. So even if uh, whichever team does eventually get knocked during the series out, they it's will. A, it's a rare thing once they have that, that advantage, man, to drop it. Yeah. They have a team definitely is. capable of taking it late here with a healthy mix of damage between that War Beast and the Wretched Hag. Hey, with the way this event's been going, though, why not? Yeah, right? well, anything can happen. Why not? Bottom lane. Some possible uh, communication going to be going on down here between the two teams. By that, I mean yeah. that blast and whatnot, but nope. I'm not going to find one another. Moon Queen actually going for that Firebrand here. First, uh, okay. besides that they're down, so instead of going for the Shrunken Head route, just going for yeah. better farming mech and a little bit more aggression. Mm -hmm. That is, the, I mean, that that's definitely a statement being made right I, I, there. I guess it is, but yeah. I feel like at the same time, he can be way too vulnerable. Well, so with that then, so now he, he does have the uh, he does have the mighty blade. Oh, apparently there's an issue, so asking Milk Fat to come on over. Of course, Milk Fat uh, at the event and the one organizing everything, uh, lead, uh, the lead at least for it. So he's done a great job, by the way. Let's uh, take a look at the player cams right now. Yeah, see what the see what the deal oh, they're is. They're doing Sigrin. Uh, yeah, stretching a little bit. Both teams are sort of seems like they're casually discussing about the game. <laughs> a little bit of a zoom in here will help. All right. So, uh, again, uh, while, while we're waiting for that uh, to be figured out, um, we'll be going over the brackets one more time. I mean, we, we are looking at this matchup here for the winner's bracket, of course, but uh, the other matchup here in the winner's bracket, which we will be covering next, and especially at this rate. And let me, let me check the exact time it was supposed to start at. Uh, according to the schedule, but obviously with you know matches and whatnot, and how long they last. Uh, so 2100. So what are we looking at there? That's 9 p.m. That's 3 p.m. here. So it, the next series is supposed to start in just over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes from now. But uh, if State Green continues this, then obviously they'd win the series, and that we'd be good for that. But if State Green EU makes a comeback, with this early on deficit, everything could get pushed back just a uh, wee bit three. here. We may get pushed back a little bit. But anyways, the other series, and there you go. You can see the brackets on your screen. Complexity versus Vietnamese Dream Team. The number two and three seeds coming out of the group stage. They're going to be matched up there. And uh, obviously we'll be covering that here on Honkast next. So looking forward to that. We actually saw Myth S2I taking out ITS there, at least in the first game. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, let's see. It was. I heard it was. See how that one's going current, or do you want to see the past game? I don't. Uh, past game featured Nova. I saw the last Warden. game, yeah. But no, the current one, I don't see any of them on, actually. So I wonder if that one actually finished already. Let me actually see if uh, we find some information in game on that. I'm sure somebody would have that, but... Okay, so it looks like, yeah, this was game two, and Myth did win game two as well. As or the lineups. 17, 18-minute game, really. Oh. So Myth making a dominating statement there. And ITS, just things just not really coming together. The friend them here at this event. Looks like some Nomad play came ah, out here from Myth. Nomad carry. Yeah. Nova trying to run the Deadwood for his team. Yeah, Monkey King as well. But yeah. Not going to happen in the end. So I can't what read what that's trying says. to do right here. I, I, are we supposed to be able to see that or something? <laughs> Hax wants to show us something. Well, let's see what he says. <laughs> oh, he pulls it back, of course, right as we go to the, the bigger screen of it. I, I don't know what he's trying to tell us. He's telling us lead strategies. Anywho, <laughs> I gotta find out. Now we really have to find out. He's showing the the Kamet. He wrote his phone obviously number. wants a. I somehow doubt that. For his phone number. You might wanna. Let's put the call. I I couldn't make out anything. So oh, okay, call me you girls. <laughs> <laughs> In case oh, you need a carrying, uh, oh, you hacks. know who to contact. <laughs> what now? What is he showing on stream? I, I don't know if it's it, some video. No, Hexer, it's dead. Actually, your, your screen's black. He's showing us a black screen. <laughs> this is failing horridly. Oh boy. So yeah, um, 
We've got this game here again. Uh, it's getting an issue figured out on the side of uh, stay green. Oh, so maybe I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, keep my DGs rest him. Of course, at, at a land event like that, um, where where they ha we have the booth set up and everything. Of course, they, they, we, we've gotten to show you, and there's plenty of pictures of it and everything online. Um, the last thing you want, if you have to use a restroom as a player, you know, to get up and then just freely walk to the restroom. You know, when there's there are monitors around and whatnot that, of course, have uh, have some information on the screen that you wouldn't normally be able to see as a player from more to sites and whatnot. So, um, most likely, just uh, requesting that you know, have somebody make sure to that he, does, that he doesn't look or anything like that. So, just kind of clarify as far as what is probably going on here. Just needed to use a restroom. And understandably, it's been a long, long day, a long couple of days for these players as well. <laughs> it's already been a long series so far. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of curious more so that uh, Stay Green EU, given that this game has entered a point where uh, a little bit more desperate for them, I would say. Mm -hmm. Still keeping spirit tight. At least Hacks aren't goofing around. Hacks always goofing around, man. <laughs> He's well, I know. Well, you can't say that after that game. You saw. <laughs> yeah, true. True. I mean, palm to face. Meanwhile, it looks like they're ready to go again. So for the most part, it seems like. Yeah, no, no. He, no, no, well he, he obviously cares, but well-natured, uh, well-natured guy. Mm -hmm. So back to this game here. There we go. Back. Unpause. And on our way. Shrunken head being worked on by Wretched Hag, of course. Mighty Blade, there's another 1,600 gold saved up. Again, SJEU already finding himself in a difficult spot, but hey, we were saying the same thing about last game for State Green, and you know, we, we know about that result. So 1,100 gold on Deadwood, 1,900 gold on Tempest here. I, I kind of wonder if my nuts is going to be going for that very quick portal key, perhaps. You know, figure in, maybe in a game like this, in. yeah, he would be going for more of the build up if he was looking at building an astrolabe. So yeah. uh, looking for more of the big plays. Yeah. That on top of a Deadwood portal key, which is still a little bit more off, but ooh, they're trying to catch them at the Ancients, but stealing their own Ancients, and they unfortunately can't get there in time to stop it. Mm -hmm. SG's using that token to its fullest touch, trying to expand their goal lead, and well, Wretched Hag, not once again, not going for that straight Grimoire route, instead the Saxton now into a shrunken head. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, especially for Slicks. I mean, with the Glacius, you get the Bubbles. Bubbles could eventually be a uh, bane to hack with that silence and locking her down quite mm -hmm. effectively, but uh, being able to get around the fight now is all she needs to uh, keep SG from coming back. Warby is kind of scouting things out in the jungle right here. He has the Hellhounds giving him some good vision. Gonna, oh, he tried to steal the Catman champion, but um, it was last hit by Tampus right there. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, down with Texas, side to side, the fucking push to respond, but it doesn't matter. Ophelia came from the side. And ends up helping to finish him off right there. So, big, uh, big, uh, big plays coming out right there. Rally obviously with that new portal key had the jump advantage. A huge pickoffs there. They're just doing a great job of keeping Deadwood down. I mean, uh, Deadwood finding himself in a position that so much from the previous games found on Fade on Pebbles, where sitting at 170 now. Uh, still has a long way to go until his portal key. Uh, meanwhile, so much playing Rally this game, taking total control of this map. This is very likely going to be another tower kill here for State Green. I mean, it, it is. There's no way. Yeah, nothing on the minimap showing that SGE is going to look to stop it. And there you go. Pretty quick tower kill. 22 minutes in now. The lead continues to grow. 11,000 goldie now. Portokey just picked up by Bubbles. But yeah, the Grimoire gone by, or not the Grimoire, but the Light Brand gone by Wretched Hag. So yeah, didn't. I was actually, I was just going to say, there was a chance instead of going shrunken. We've seen it a number of times where they pick up the Mighty Blade for the hell. In combination with the sack zone, and then they go it. Um, he feels like right now, with the 11k gold advantage, if it was more of an evenly paced game, there's a decent chance that he might choose to get the shrunken head at that point. Yeah. I figure he needs his survivability. Now that he has the lead, uh, they're flash farming all over the place. Snowball effect. That light, yeah. yeah, exactly. So just sort of. You know, feeling out the waves and responding based on that. Oh, Ophelia getting caught right here. Tempest Holder going to be used to pull them in. I'm guessing they should have enough damage. There's the Moonbeam coming out. Ophelia. Oh, the Ophelia starts the power throw. Power throw, no. For the Hellboy team action. So it's his teammate oh, right there. God, Gets caught the rock. Grass locked, though. He will eventually fall. But it won't cost right here. Devil's maybe in a little bit of trouble. Warby's coming in. Moon Queen's going to end up falling with that when it's all said and done. And Devil trying to make the getaway. Again, he doesn't have the portal key just yet. But this has turned into a disaster here for SGEU. He will fall. Double tap for Slicks. 
What big plays by Jesse, man. He stayed alive long enough for all of that to happen right there. I know. You said yourself, oh, they should have enough damage. Wait, one <laughs> hit. One hit remaining. The Astrolabe comes out. The Ophelia's Touch comes out. Jeez. And then the ultimate bait. Yes, Stay sir. green. About to put their counterpart, Stay Green EU, <laughs> uh, to rest here bracket. in the winner's bracket. Yep, they're going to knock them down if, uh, with, the, with the victory here, so... Again, still could There's not an easy meet. road ahead of them, man. Yeah. yeah they, they, it's, it's just crazy how this event has been so far, man. From the group stages into the bracket stage here, just the results that we've had. and There's the Grimoire. And There's uh, more there pickup. Did yeah. he just pick up a Bulwark, too? On I believe so. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. the Bulwark, the Grimoire. The expensive courier. Yeah, it's uh, it's being delivered. That's going to enhance them that much more, of course. And, and on the Legion side, again, not much is really coming together, unfortunately. They did get the Portica and Tempest, obviously. They, they, they worked they, on the like Deadwood, but they did. But even with big plays, not even big, I feel like they just won't have the damage. Oh, they Moon Queen going to be tough right here. No, <laughs> Rally. He he kind of almost uh, realized at the last second that that was a bit of a bait right there, and Swinem Elts is going to fall in the end. Big kill for SGU at least. Yeah, and the. Uh Token no longer being an issue, so maybe we're going to keep trying to apply the pressure. Yeah. Still, we saw it last time. Grimoire power two minutes from now. Don't be surprised if he slicks uh, nearing completion of his shrunken head. Yeah. It will enhance that farm quite a bit, so. And they're not really going to have the problem of tapering off, man. Warbeast is an incredibly hard carry in his own right. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned it before, Moon Queen's a powerful hero, but when you're going up against Ophelia, and a war beast. The creeps alone provide enough of a uh, distraction to the ultimate. But then on top of that, you're adding in the astrolabe heal. You're adding in the AOE touch. So let's say one bounce to a hero there, one bounce over there. You're covering everything, man. Yeah. Even your creeps that might absorb the bounces. So yep. at that point, you're not left with much. And left over, you sure you have a deadwood punch, but you have a bulwark. Being uh, well, right now it's on negative, but you'll have to see. It might be actually left on positive when they go to enter the fight to mitigate deadwood's damage. On that, a glacius. Uh, a glacius in the end, he can do a decent amount, but it's not the most. And the bubbles, other than that, they pretty much don't have anything else. And they're all pretty damn tanky right now on the Hellborn side. I mean, we see this a lot from State Green, of course, with Z Freak specifically. But you just look at the farm that even he has. When, when your when your main support is able to have a Steam Boots Tablet of Command at this point in the game, while still putting down all the wards he is, and now a Bound Eye like purchase, yeah, that's it's just so helpful, man. I mean. To be able to get just an extra utility item because the farm as a team is just going so well, obviously it just enhances everything uh, for your side. So, so just waiting out for the Concord time now. Yep. Say green, uh, EU at a point where they can't really defend against it. So, need to further the lead. Wait for it. So Mel's picking up that shrunken head next to on rally. <laughs> Only people like capable being affected here are the heroes that are going to be staying far back. Uh, for Moon Queen yeah. soon. Bottom lane of Hag is going to fall back before committing too much there. So as you talked about, uh, not shortly after the Grimoire, pur Grimoire purchase, <laughs> uh, it does have another 1,600 gold saved up, so is getting closer and closer to that shrunken head. Mentioned also Kongor and how he should be up here in the near future. Yeah, looking at the map control, all they have as far as any vision in the area is, well, they've got a ward bottom lane by Finsky, more of a lane ward there. Uh, so it's catching out the Glacius, Ouch. though. Quick pick off, and he feels pretty safe in his approach. Actually trying to follow up, punch on it, but Ophelia is going to have the cover. Deadwood punch uh, basically wasted at this point. Yep. Sent back, and now with no Deadwood ulti, yeah. I think the Congor is about to spawn. Yeah, Limp just got his and, portal uh, as well. Yeah, 18, 19, boom, no. Now. Oh, that would have been so cool. All right, no. But really, guys, it's no. going to be... Ah, so okay, close. Okay, I tried. <laughs> there you go. And right as he gets spawns, I mean, just look at him start to fall. What are they supposed to do now? They have no yeah. Deadwood Ultimate, man. I was saying they didn't have enough damage even with the Deadwood Ultimate. He's not even seeing any, any semblance of a monopole right here. Running back to base, they're conceding it. Conqueror's going to go down. Token Alive going to be picked up by War. Oh, Wretched Hag. Yeah, yeah. Makes more sense. Or Beast uh, after his ultimate set. He's not level 16 yet, so. Actually going straight for a Brutalizer now at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like he doesn't need to finish the Demonic. I'm, once again, to watch whether he puts it on positive or negative as he approaches the fight. Mm -hmm. 
plus nine armor aura for his team against Deadwood. Pretty good thing. Not too shabby. Some more ancients being stole here by uh, by Stay Green against their counterparts, and not much uh, SDE was able to do about it. The brutalizer finished right there on the Warbies. So having that delivered now. I think the items are definitely coming together. Once the shotgun head is and that's coming in just a matter of seconds now for Wretched Hag. Uh, once he actually gets that, then you're going to probably see uh, more of a group up and push style here coming out of Stay Green. Bottom lane, Moon Queen. Oh, she's going to go for the TP. Will she be able to rally? Oh, it cannot get there in time. Almost, almost. Doesn't almost. matter, though. Slicks on the other side oh, of the map yeah. picking off the Tempest. Minot's trying to pick up gold for that shotgun head. Was sitting at about 3k, but... Well, another quick pick off by the uh, Grimoire infused Wretched Hag. Shrunken Head being delivered at this point. Options are running out. Mm -hmm. Brutalized on War Beast. Mm -hmm. See in the middle lane. Or who's that? Uh, Deadwood kind of roaming up there. See if he can get an opportunity, but him and Bubbles. War Beast continues this, perhaps, but nope. Kizu just a little too smart. You know, again, just. Feeling out the situation, knows that he's by himself. No reason to go for those couple of extra creep kills there. So risky. And so we'll fall back and look for better opportunities. So Barrier idol going to be coming here on Chessy, so maybe that's going to be the key item. But most importantly, to the token of life, you still have five minutes remaining on that here if you're uh, if you're staying green. So and actually, Wretched not going to be sent back to base. He tries to get a creep kill. Oh, we got one just before <laughs> the auto attack, so. Maximizing right there. Deja Vu used by Aluna to help place a war. And he has a haste room bottled up, by the way. Does Aluna. So having that bottle to bottle up the runes for his team, I'm sure. And it's gonna right, I'm going to pass it off here. Oh, there you go. War Beast. Uh, <laughs> has all the mojik in haste anyway, but a little more effective now at least. Uh, when he's not activating the metamorphosis, doesn't yeah, really care too much. He's using it as a farming tool or something. Going from camp to camp. <laughs> Moon Queen, 2,500 gold saved up. Oh, middle lane, Rowley actually gets the pick on a Tempest. Again. Yeah. Again, again, delaying that shrunken head. Jeez. And with token now, they'll probably use this as an opportunity to yeah. force a fight. And the force buyback. the buyback, if nothing else. So they need to battle on afterwards is well tough to call, especially with Sunomalans uh, getting 300 gold off from a shrunken. Limp was at the top lane during all that. He was constantly trying to find somebody up there, waiting for an opportunity, but uh, he just needed to get back eventually. So he ports back to base. Tempest, another 20 plus. He's not going to be here. seeing that shrunken head if he's forced to buy back here. Yeah, it's it's a tough place to be in. Barrier auto going off there on the Hellborn side. This is a mass push coming out here. Battle cry obviously applied by Warbase. Just look at the tower start to drop. Souls Bulwark sets offensive, obviously. Eight seconds left. The Tempest is going to be up in a matter of seconds now. Will they get the melee reacts or not? Not even going to go they for it. They held off really. long enough, though, where he yeah. at least got to revive instead of buying back. Buying back, not even being remotely in range of the Shrunken Head would have been mm -hmm. horrible. But still, they have three Shrunken Heads here, as we mentioned before. Yeah. Tons of armor to go around. So, Hellborn team. State Green is going to fall back here. I feel like they're more, if I'd, uh, more, more ahead here yeah. on, say, green side than they ever were. In the previous matchup, I mean, even with the two sets of racks down, I think it's that hard for them to throw this. I just use the composition of their team. 32 minutes in right now. We got a 22,000 goal lead, 15,000 experience lead. I gotta agree with you, man. I mean, although we are just coming off that uh, yeah. like epic comeback by Stigrin last game, it, it, things are just so much different this time around. Yeah, you always felt like uh, it was kind of capable. This game, you're kind of just. It's just a matter of time almost. Right. I mean, I, I, I'm a fan of saying that uh, the, whenever you have a Tempest, the game's never over. <laughs> but at the same time, it's that's not necessarily for every every single game, <laughs> honestly. So, but hey, it, it yeah. isn't over. I mean, 32 and a half minutes in is as grim as it is. There is still that slight chance, which is why they're hanging in there, of course. Yeah, for sure. That and the uh, the caliber of the game as well. Not trying to force anything yet. Looking to finish that demonic first for Warbeast potentially. Yeah, the token getting down to about a minute fifty here, so you do gotta yeah. wonder if they're really gonna try okay, to Okay, no, they, they they actually given are they that up here. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and the shrunken head by rally, so yeah, screw the screw the demonic in the end. 
I didn't see how close he got, but I know he has a brutalizer on top of the warp cleft slash bulwark, so can't be that far off. I have no idea whether he has another component or not, though. You see uh, Swinomelons playing the rally. He is going to be joining them here. So all five of them are going to be grouped up. Again, token about a minute 20 now, so still a good amount of time. Bound die going to be activated in case uh, any Warder sites are in vision. In fact, he's going to place one himself, but unfortunately it's right next to a Warder Rev. Uh, not going to be countered just yet, though. Moon Queen is going to start attacking it. And we'll eventually get a kill right there, but at what cost right here? Rally jumps in, Moon Queen dropping. The side of him not able to go off. He splits up with the Jammer's Blade. Gets the mid finale off, but he falls in the process. He will bite back immediately, but will it matter when it's all said and done? Warbeast with that shotgun and activated is tearing Bell people up left and right, gets the melee racks, gets the ranged racks. There is the vote to concede. Stay green. Will take out SGEU. Two games to nothing here in this best set of three, and they are happy as they should be, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I mean, again, it's it, it, it was all... You, you, obviously, game two happened, and stay green just... But I, you really just got to look like a game number one, man. I mean, yeah, the, looks the like, comeback. And, looks like they're going over maybe to shake hands. Who's that still at the computer at Limpin? Zai lagging a little bit behind, but I'm sure they're yeah. going to exchange. Uh, yeah, it sounds congrats. like that's been happening basically every game, by the way, for all the teams. There's been a lot like of great sports. Yeah, they're there. looking up. And Fantasy actually brought up that point in his day one blog post mm -hmm. or uh, on the Ghost of Gamer site, so uh, that is good to see. But, man, oh, man, stay green. Two games to nothing. And, and I, I not again, not that I'm surprised, but just knowing that they were down in that game number one right, as well, they were. It is a bit of a surprise seeing how far they were down in game number one, mounting yeah. that epic comeback. It is a huge deal. Not yeah. if you see two sets of racks against the farm draconis, but that had that, you know, the holy trinity of items, while State Green was still in a pretty bad spot. Yeah. Uh, it, crazy, crazy stuff. So that means State Green is moving on to the winner's wow. bracket finals. They are done for today. They now just going to take the rest of it off. Um, <laughs> as a State Green EU, actually, you know, moving to loser's bracket final, or loser's bracket, I should say. But uh, obviously a little for bit sure, higher. But no worries for now uh, for State Green's end, man. they advancing straight on yeah. through at this point. The fact that they defeated State